So let me start uh, by going back to the last interview. We last spoke sometime in early December. Yes. And you told me that in the next two to three months, you expected the Sensex to go up about three to four percent, which is what pretty much happened. Right. You told me six months from then, six to ten percent, and twelve months we will beat all-time highs. Is that a view you still continue to hold? And that's a view based on steady state uh, and no surprises. And I think more or less market has been moving in those lines. Mm. In fact, when we met in the month of December, market had already rallied. Mm. So now is the time for market to consolidate, take a breather and get ready for the next bull run. But it will also depend on a number of factors happening at domestically as well as internationally. Which would these factors be? I think one of the key things that one would look out for is interest rate because everybody has been expecting RBI to move in tandem with government and change the sentiment. And I think more or less people are expecting 25 basis point interest rate cut now in this month of January. Uh, January, but I, if it is 50 basis point, it will be a positive surprise. But you are hoping for 25? We are hoping for, uh, I think that will be 50 basis point cut. You feel it's going to be 50? Yes. Okay. And Why are you other, so positive? Uh, so Why are you so optimistic? On the interest rate cut? Mm. Uh, I hear you, most people talking about not Jan, but March. At best 25, but you're saying 50. What, what, where is this optimism coming from? Uh, if you really look at historically, I mean, RBI had indicated in the month of October itself that, you know, Jan is the time that one can expect. Uh, we have already seen that interest has started coming down because if you see 10 year GSEC has fallen below 8% already. Hmm. Uh, and I think there's a realization that now growth needs to be, uh, needs to pick up because, uh, uh, Whatever industrial IIP numbers or GDP numbers, all the numbers that we are looking at, uh, growth needs a, a boost and I think that is what RBI will do. Hmm. What would the other factors be? You said interest rate is one of them. I think uh, diesel price hike is something, you know, we have seen the railway uh, tariff was hiked uh, some time ago, which is just about a month before budget, which is a bit surprising because these are the things which are done at the time of budget, but now government seems determined on all the reforms that are needed. And I think digital price increase will be one another uh, major boost for the market. In fact, Prime Minister had indicated that I guess there will be four and a half rupees uh, increase or maybe one rupee increase in digital price for say next 10 months. Mm. Whatever way you do it, it will basically address the fiscal deficit concern a lot and there will be another booster for the market. Is the FISC now the big issue which markets are looking at? Yes, I think current account deficit is the biggest issue that markets are looking at because India cannot sustain 5.5% current account deficit. How shocked were you to see that number? I was quite shocked because we were all react. looking at 3.5-4%. But I think, see, markets when they are positive, uh, they tend to be euphoric. Yeah. But ma these markets may rally, but there is a one big major event risk that our markets are heavily dependent on FI inflow. So if you have a 2-3 billion dollar of FI selling, you will see market crashing. That has happened in the past. And particularly now when current account deficit is so high. Hmm. So, you know, India is structurally very different from all Asian markets or most other emerging markets. Because if you look at current account, then India is the only country to have current account deficit and, and now at a very high level. Hmm. And if you meet that current account deficit by flow of FI money, which is hot and volatile, is a risky uh, structural problem from long-term perspective. 